Hello friends, welcome to the service now world and today we'll see part 10 of scenario based interview questions in service now. In as you know, in this series, we are discussing about the all the real time scenarios which are given by interview during the interview. So without any delay, let's see today's task. So today's task is in incident form, I want to populate only users in color field whose department is HR and I don't want to use reference qualifier. Then how will you achieve this? So let's go to the personal developer instance and try to implement it. So now I am in my personal developer instance. So for let's open the incident form first. So I am just opening the incident form. So let's say like when we creating a new incident. So let me recall the requirement once again. So this is a like a new incident form. So requirement is that like that, like when we search caller, I just want to see only the caller whose department is HR. Okay. So let's firstly customize the list layout here. So we'll see the department field here as well. So we'll get confirm confirmation as well, right? So I'll just configure list layout and then here. And we know that like uh, caller in a department field is available in caller field uh, in a user table, right? So you just drag it from here and we'll put it here after the name and department it will show. So now you will see the department like different departments are there. Okay. So uh, like that. We want to show like who only call whose uh, department is HR. So what we'll do for this, we'll create one field that is called department. And then we have to make that caller field depart uh, caller field dependent upon the department field. So how we'll do it. So we'll just click on configure and go to the list layout. And here just write department and select reference because I want to create this field reference type and reference will be cmn underscore department that is the department table backend name cmn underscore department okay I just add it and what I'll do I'll just make put it above the color yes so i'll just save it so now if you see in incident form we have created one custom field called department, which is a reference field and referencing referencing to the department table, right? So you see that like different departments are there. So there, if you select the HR, so I want to show only the color whose department is HR, but it's not looking like that. It's showing all the colors, right? Irrelevant of the department. So what we'll do, we'll just go to the color field, right click on the color and just go to the configure dictionary. Yes. So once this configure dictionary for uh, this form will got opened. So what we'll do, we'll just go to the dependent field tab. Okay. And there we'll specify like uh, for a, uh, this field will be dependent upon which field. So currently it's showing company. So we'll just change it to the U underscore department. You may ask like how I know like whether the field name is you underscore department. So if you know like uh, there is a like uh, standardization is there in service now like if any custom field will create it 
their name will start their backend name will start from u underscore and then they followed by the name so like that only so just click on update so now so if i select this time let's say hr okay and once i click on reference lookup icon of the color field you see all the colors whose department are hr right so like that we accomplish this okay many of you may be comment or maybe you will ask like if we have the color field is available that is the referencing re re referencing to the user table so can we do like that like we can use the like color id dot department in our color field whether that will work so let me tell you if you use the dot walk so dot walk will not work on the color field a, a dot a dot work will not work on the dependent uh, field so they are like you have to write like that only okay so i hope you got it it's a very simple so if you still have any doubt please write in the comment box till that time thank you god bless you all